Yeye alikuwa main consultant wangu. Sasa nimemtoa kwa maandamano akuje hapa kasalani God is good all the time. All the time. God is good. Adwa nyuba muriaga. Muriaga. Muriaga rege. Gai di muega. Ingo shiode. Gai di munene. Tuwe hamwe. Sume amili mili ni mikoniwa. Asante ni sana. Adwa kuna kabila tofauti tofauti apa wakisi ndi amure. Asante ni sana banu ya mrembe. Mrembe hande. Mrembe swa. Mrembe te. Wajaluo untie. Uchiek. Bea chiek kaku chiek. Wakamba mwaseo. Ndi nindi ni kukupa moja na tukondani dani kabi. Kabisa. Wameru muga. Muga muga. Masaye suba. Wakirukana mata Mwajua nilikuwa katika presidential campaign Hizi microphone kuzibeba mingi hivi ndina nikumbusha Weli hiki tulienda Wacha tugoje next time, sini hivu? Asante ni sana, na washukuru sana Kwa majina na hituwa babu wa wino Mimi ni kijana wenyu Mimi ni jirani wenyu hapa Sio ni sawa sawa Niko na advice kwa wanafunzi wetu Nataka niongeleshe wazazi wetu Na nataka niongeleshe walimu wetu Iyo ni sawa Sasa nitaanza na wanafunzi wetu ambawa kwa hapa Wanafunzi haa Wanafunzi nme Asante ni sana So to our children, to our school kids, I want to take this opportunity to give you a word of advice because of education. We say that education is the key to success. And education unlocks all the doors. It is through education that I'm here as Babu Wino. It is through education that Mweshimiwa Karaure is here as a captain and a member of parliament. It is through education that has made our members of parliament be here today. And it is through education that will make you be somebody in life. Wanafunzi, if you open the doors of a classroom, you close the gates of a prison. And it is only education that will make you salvage our parents who are seated here from the bondage of poverty. It is only education that will make you rescue these parents from the slums where they are staying. And you must embrace education. If you must kiss a boyfriend, kiss a pen. Wabulana wetu, watoto wetu wabulana, If you must hug a girlfriend, hug a book. Saizi jinsi ambabio tumielezewa na mwishimi wawetu kutoka lamu. Ya kuamba maneno ya boyfriend na girlfriend weka? X. You must be educated, you must agree to learn. Because I know that the future belongs to those who prepare for it. Today and education is the passport to that future. Mimi kama babu nilikuwa ni melelewa uko katika slums, uko kisumu, na mama alikuwa na uza tanga. Wewe umelelewa Nairobi, kwa hivyo you can be better than babu or wino. Maneno ya school fee mkimaliza primary, muende secondary, maneno ya school fee, wachia mweshimiwa hapa na mweshimiwa mimi, pamoja na wazazi wenye. 
ninyi msugulike na mambo ya karam, kalamu na kitabu. Kwa sababu nikiwaangalia wanafunzi ninaona walimu hapa. Nikiwaangalia naona maengineer hapa. Nikiwaangalia naona madaktari hapa. Amen. Nikiwaangalia naona makaptens hapa. Nikiwaangalia naona babu Owinos hapa. Amen. Labda bado sijaona timi mnatia lala. Leo sitasema hiyo kwa sababu ni mambo ya advice ya wanafunzi wetu. Kwa hivyo wanafunzi wetu hakikisha usome kwa bidii. Kama kuna ile subject inakuletea shida katika darasani, hakikisha ukue rafiki wa mwalimu. Enda kwa mwalimu siogope hakuna mtu yeyote aliyezaliwa kama anajua kichochote hapa nchini. Usiwe shy, don't be shy because everybody wants to know. The reason why you are in a school is because you want to know. You want to gain knowledge. Kwa hivyo ukiwa na shida katika hesabu enda kwa mwalimu wa hesabu akusaidie. Ukiwa na shida kwa sayansi enda kwa mwalimu wa sayansi akusaidie. Hata kama ni Kiswahili ama Kiingereza enda kwa hao wali walimu muwe rafiki wao. Na la pili pia kuwa rafiki ya yule mwanafunzi ambaye uko naye katika darasani ambaye anajua hiyo subject. Hiyo ni sawa? Then practice makes perfect. Kama una shida na subject kama ya hesabati, hesabu, hakikisha ya kwamba kila siku chukua dakika 30, 30 minutes every day. You practice maths. Na nataka niwaambie wanafunzi the six P's. Zinasema proper prior preparation prevents poor performance. Unaelewana vizuri? Wanafunzi ha. Wanafunzi mme. Asanteni sana. Sasa jambo lingine. Na wanafunzi, advice la mwisho kwenu. The Bible says in in Exodus 2012 that honor your father and your mother so that your days may be longer on earth so that your ways may go smooth. It is a commandment with a promise that you must honor your father and your mother. The next advice inaenda kwa wazazi wetu. Wazazi ha. Wa mama mimi. Wazee kilim. Nikurudi nyumbani jioni lazima ujue huyu mtoto alifanya nini shule. Ni subject gani inasumbua huyu mtoto? Kama ni ni science hakikisha ya kwamba upigie mwalimu kwa sababu hakuna haja ustrago na mtoto kwa tumbo umle umpeleke mpaka university alafu mtoto apotee njiani ama umfikishe uh, primary school na asiende high school si sawa sawa kwa hivyo wazazi hakikisha hawa watoto wetu mnawapatia advice chua mtoto anafikiria nini chua mtoto anachukia nani shuleni ili utoe hiyo chu chuki manake mtoto akichukia mwalimu atapita hiyo subject hawezi na wazazi wetu mimi waomba hiyo nyanya ambayo unauza hiyo mboga ambayo unauza endelea kuiuza mama hiyo manguo ambao ambazo unaosha endelea kuosha hizo manguo kwa baba wetu endesha hiyo boda boda enda kwa mjengo Ninajua unafanya hivyo kwa sababu unataka kupeleka mtoto wako shule, kupata karo ya shule, kulipia mtoto wako. Siku moja huyo mtoto atakuja kutoe kwenye matopo. Endelea bila kukua, bila kukua ashamed. Hiyo ni sawa kabisa? Kwa walimu wetu. Ninawapenda sana and without you there is no future of our children. The future of our children lies solely in your hands and therefore to our teachers make sure before a child loves your subject make sure that child loves you kuna walimu wengine wanakuanga wakali sana mpaka mwanafunzi awezi tamani kufanya hiyo subject wani wazazi wanajua walimu na wanatusaidia jamani 
Because nini the future depends on you, the future of our kids. Na ninapenda sana kwa sababu kuna organization kwa hii shule. Wana head teacher. Wana Njoroge pamoja na deputy head teacher Mama Millicent. Ninawashukuru sana kwa hii organization organization ambayo mmeweka hapa. You are very organized. To our teachers, make sure our children job. Lakini nawashukuru sana kwa kazi nzuri ambayo mnafanya kama walimu wetu. Mimi ni moja wenyu, siku moja nitakuja hapa chini ya maji nifundishe watoto kidogo. I know pia tunaweza wa motivate. Mimi pia nakuanga mwalimu part time. Sio ni sawa kabisa. Nataka nishukuru jumbe wetu bwana Karaure. You went against all odds to be a member of parliament here at Kasarani constituency and you are the best because among all those who are contesting all the constituents saw it fit that it is only you can serve them and indeed you are doing it nine months down the line kuna watu wa kuna excuses mingi sana wengine wanasema tupatie two years kwanza to stabilize lakini ukiona mweshime wa wetu ukiona mweshime wa wetu ametujengea madarasa hapa na ametoa pesa kwenye mfuko wake inakuonyesha huyu mheshimiwa anawapenda. Yeah. Amen. Sasa zile bado tulikuwa tunangoja pesa ya CDF ingie, yeye yeah, alikuwa anajenga madarasa. Ni mzuri sio mzuri. Mzuri sana. Aongezwe asiongezwe. Aongezwe. Yeah. Huyu mheshimiwa kama unamchukia labda uchukie tu sura yake lakini sura pia ziko sawa na baba. Sana. Tuseme niko katika ile tukio. <laughs> lakini yako sa? Si ni kweli? Mtu ambaye anafanya kazi lazima awe appreciated. Sasa kwa wazazi huyu ndiye atawapatia bursaries. Mtu yeyote ambaye atakaporeceive bursary na simpigie kura, ukiona mtoto wako anafail pale darasani, ujue Mungu anakuadhibu. Lazima uombe msamaha ili mambo yende sala. Mimi naona mheshimiwa wenu ametosha na huyu ndio mheshimiwa ambaye anawajali. Leo hata tuko na bunge na akasema tusiende bunge, tukuje hapa. Hiyo inaonyesha ana mapenzi ya dhati kwa wananchi wa Kasarani. Kwa mama ha. Kwa rembo mwe. Wanafunzi ria. Wazee timim. Mungu awabariki. Alafu tunaitwa magava na smali time itafika tutaongea si sawa mpendeza jamaa sio gava na ndoto kubwa sawa kabisa sawa kabisa asanteni sana kwa wanafunzi wetu pamoja na, wa, na walimu ambao wako hapa mimi already tayari nishatumia mheshimiwa 50000 hiyo ni sawa Mimi maishi na mchana kutoka Mount Kenya sibebangi pesa sana na beba kwenye simu. Sasa nimeshukuria. Na hata confirm hapa hiyo mambo iko sawa? Sawa. Twe hamwe. Asanteni Mungu awabariki. Thank you very much. Tumpigia makofi. Karaoli akiwa president ya Dito Trade ni nani? Bobby Oino. Asante. Makofi, makofi tafadhali, makofi. Hoja leo nikikuja wale watu natembea nao sasa babu bila mepatiana speech ya shule ameongea na wanafunzi hata pia anasikia raha mimi mwenyewe si ndio kabisa na bunge tunasema tukuje hapa leo kwa sababu ni kitu kubwa baada ya kusema mambo ya independent ni Mungu ndiye alisema ni kwa independent si ndio eh na nikwambia ni kwa nini sasa mimi na uko na uhuru naweza tembea na babu Nimaliza na babu yake na maandamano mimi naenda set house si ndio? Eh, mimi naenda tabia na kila mtu si ndio? Eh. Na fiksha kutoka maandamano na hiyo mambo ile yote sisi wote ni marafiki. Babu amekuja, Mudoni amekuja, Mulala amekuja, hata ametolea kitu shule si ndio? Na sasa hivi tuko kwa siasa. Kitu moja nilikuwa nasema, nilikitoa ahadi Nikuje nitembee kwenu tena. Nisikue na haya ulisema hivi na hujafanya. Si kweli? Yeah. Kitu moja niliwaambia ndaanzisha foundation. 
na nikawaambia kama kuna kitu kingine hasa wezekana foundation to school imefanya si kweli mnakumbuka hema tulijenga hapa wakati wa siasa ikavurugwa watoto wangu walikuwa naumia na bado wanaumia tukasema wacha nianze tujenge hizi darasa darasa tumemaliza si ndio Bwana Njoroge amesema kitu kingine akasema darasa zinatakikana. Vile aliambiwa na chama na CDF ni kweli darasa nne zingine zinakuja. Sawa? Na kofi tafadhali. Na zinakuja kabla tumalize mwaka. Kabla tumalize mwaka zitakuwa. Ni kweli vile mmesikia kwa waheshimiwa. Pesa ya CDF haiko imefika. Lakini sasa inaingia pole pole. Hizi project zote tutazianzilisha. Mmesikia shida ya maji. Maji niko na good news hizo projects za Athi Water na Nairobi Water zinakuja sana. Rwai ilikuwa imesahulika, si ndio?